Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Taurus for the month of January 2022. So a brand new year. Um, and so this is a general reading. Um, it may or it may not resonate with you. There's many of you watching, so you're not all going to resonate with what I'm about to to read. And so if this doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Now, um, before I begin, I just want to wish you all a very uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Please stay safe um, over the holidays. Um, so let's begin your reading. Okay. <clears throat> You have the card of history here. So um, you're going to have a decision to make having to do with, uh, it's all right here really, <laughs> having to do with somebody from your past, somebody that you have history with, okay? They're returning. Here they are. Two of Cups, a new promise, a new beginning. Somebody you have still very deep feelings for. Um, you may feel very drawn to this person. This is about a second chance. This is about a decision. Um, this person comes back and um, they reveal something to you that uh, may pertain to a wish um, <clears throat> that uh, brings hope uh, and that is very, very shocking. <laughs> so get ready. Yep. All right. So <clears throat> here we go. I feel uh, as though um, I feel that in the past, this person was married. I feel that um, the loss could have been incurred because of that, but this is what is uh, what was in the past, and so um, I feel like um, with the emperor, it's uh, it's possible that uh, a sacrifice was made. Um, Hmm. It could be, um, it could be with the emperor uh, that um, you may have been trying to build something here in the past, uh, but maybe the feelings were not mutual or you thought that they were not mutual. Um, it could have been, be well, it could have been because of the Hierophant, you know, so because they were married or they were in another commitment that was like a marriage. What I feel, <laughs> what I feel that's coming and yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I mean, you are going to be so shocked by this news. You, you're just not expecting it. There, the glove represents status, okay? And the eel represents something shocking that you, 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 it just comes out of the blue. You're not expecting it. What I feel is coming is that they're, go they're going to reach out to you. They may most likely invite you on a date because I have a dating card here. So they may invite you out to dinner or uh, another uh, intimate spot where you can talk and they're going to tell you that they are no longer married and that's just like going to open the door for a new beginning for the two of you should you desire it <clears throat> and so this is your shocking news they are this person if they were married in the past they're no longer married. If, uh, I mean, it, it, you know, 
they didn't have to have been married in the past. I mean, it could have been for other reasons. The relationship uh, was maybe on again, off again. Um, whatever it is, they're coming back in. And uh, I feel this, this is blooming. This is something that's blooming. Uh, this is shocking news. Uh, so maybe they're coming in. Uh, maybe in the past they didn't want to commit. And maybe they're coming in and they want a commitment now. Maybe now they're ready for a commitment for those of you that, you know, a third party was not involved. This, this initial meeting brings you, it sends you like over the moon. You're, 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 it brings hope. It makes you so happy. Uh, you feel suddenly elated. And it, it's going to make for a, a very intimate uh, evening. However, I feel like that could get shattered when you stop to think about it. And that could be like <clears throat> your problem is that you, uh, a lot of old fears will creep in because let's remember you have a history with this person. Or this could be a, a history, a pattern of thinking. And because you're thinking the worst. Here now, you, you've, you've come down here to earth because that news would have sent you, uh, you know, uh, up in the air. But um, here you are in the hangman position now. Um, you're trying to understand this. Are they telling you the truth? What happened here? That like there's just like this huge change. It feels like it's a, a huge shift that's happening here between you and this person. And now suddenly they're before you and they're open and available. At least that's what they're telling you. I don't feel you quite believe them. Here they are. You're looking at this offer of the Knight of Pentacles. And you know what? It probably took, uh, with the Knight of Pentacles, he's so slow, you know. I mean, it would have taken you a long, uh, or would have taken them a long time to actually come around and commit to you or make this offer. And uh, they're actually slow, uh, like so slow you could have uh, gotten frustrated with this person on um, many o an occasion. You've had a lot of experiences, they're saying again. Um, and you're looking back at these experiences now. I mean, it's possible in the hangman uh, energy, you're looking at the new offer. And you uh, could be worried, which we see indeed you are, um, about the cost. What will be the cost to you? What might you have to sacrifice for this, you know? It could be that in the past, with this energy present here, that... Um, in the past, you, you hit a lot of brick walls. Um, you may need to look back at all of your experiences and uh, at all of the failures that you did have with this person. Um, and that could provide new insight on how to overcome this, this new challenge that you're facing. It could be with the Nine of Wands, that you're expecting trouble and you definitely are because I can see it over here you are expecting trouble and um, because of history you know and possibly you're still carrying maybe wounds you know that uh, still still bleed you could be feeling somewhat weary with this person uh, because you have believed them before in the past. And so the question is that you must decide is if you can trust them or not, you know. 
Are they telling you the truth or not? Should you accept their explanation or not? We have the card of justice here along with a decision. But you feel, see with the moon here, that you're missing information. That maybe they're keeping you in the dark. Yeah. You could be afraid that they're not playing by the rules. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse tells me that um, in the past things didn't go as planned, but now with the wheel, you are being presented with a new opportunity with the Page of Wands. So the Page of Wands is somebody who has a renewed interest in you. Now, you uh, in the past, maybe the desert was dry. Maybe this is why it died um, and it could be that you are looking uh, for signs to see if you could indeed bring this back to life can you trust them should you bring it back to life you're afraid of this decision you really want to though you really want to you are tempted. Um, you're worried that they're that that they're going to break their promise again. Okay, you're worried that they're going to lead you astray with the magician in the reverse. So you don't have much confidence. You're worried that they're hiding something with the magician here in the upright sleight of hand. You see the hand on the doorway is an illusion. So, um, what is he hiding is what you're asking yourself. You're not believing them. So, right now the relationship is still in this very choppy water, but, you know, someone um, has extended their hand to you in, you know, it, in an attempt to move this to a better place. And you want to. You really, really want to <laughs> with this card here. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to be, you know, you're trying to be logical about the whole thing. You're trying to reason everything out and you should you should be doing that because justice is here and justice is like when you when you got too much emotion involved you know um then um justice can easily turn and reverse and there's going to be con consequences you know um so it does ask you to be logical about this and practical um to think this through and uh, to take your decision from a place of logic and not from emotion. But here, in, in this scenario, I see that the heart is winning. So, you're going to be, if you have not heard from this person, you will be getting the news very soon. Um, within a three. And you're going to have to take a decision on it. Yeah, look, see, you got the hangman again and that king of swords. He's trying to figure out what is the next best move to make. And so is this fellow up here. He's studying the signs. What is the next best move to make? Can I bring this back to life? Can we bring this back to life? Should we? That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings. Again, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Stay safe. Many blessings.